The following is a presentation of the Shining Wizards Network, broadcasting live on RantiumRadio.com and available on all podcast platforms and at ShiningWizards.com. Follow us on social media at Wizards Podcast. Get our merchandise at Merch.ShiningWizards.com. Shop at Amazon at Amazon.ShiningWizards.com and become a patron at Patreon.com slash Wizards Podcast. As always, we thank you for your continued support. And now, enjoy the show. Welcome to another edition of the Shining Wizards Cup 2020. Uh, what are we on? YouTube? YouTube exclusive. Uh, we hope that everybody is doing well. You're staying safe. You're having fun with the Wizards Cup. Uh, we are having a blast over here at the Shining Wizards. Uh, and if this is the first time that you've tuned in to the YouTube channel. Uh, we picked a field of 64, and we decided to put the best tag teams in the world in a tournament, and we let you, the fans, vote on it. Uh, so we've gone from 64 to 32 to 16, uh, and now we are at the Elite Eight. Uh, and if you're following along, you're looking to vote, you can go over to facebook.com forward slash Wizards Podcast, or on Twitter at Wizards Podcast. Excuse me. My wife is, oh, I don't know what she's doing, but she's in the room and she's judging me. <laughs> and that's the story of my relationship with my wife. I've been quarantined. She's been quarantined for too long and I know you have too. So here were the brackets going into the Sweet 16. Uh, in the high voltage region, we had the Dudley Boys take on the Undisputed Era. That's the New Day. That's the Samoans. That's the Undisputed Era. Uh, and we had the Briscoe brothers face off against Edge and Christian. Uh, moving on to the Mulkey region, we had the Road Warriors, the Legion of Doom, take on the Heart Foundation. That's the Miracle Violence Connection, the Heart Foundation. Uh, and then we had the Rock and Roll Express take on the team of Arn and Tully, the Brain Busters, the Four Horsemen, whatever you want to call them. In the Conquistador region, we saw Demolition take on the number one seed Steiner Brothers. And we saw Harlem Heat take on our Cinderella team, the 15th seed Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. Excuse me. And then in the Techno Team 2000 region, we saw our number one seed Hardy Boys take on the Lucha Bros. And then we had the number two seed, the Young Bucks, take on the number 11 uh, seed Hanson and Brody. So, <clears throat> excuse me, damn, sorry about that. Um, what we had in the high voltage region, as the Dudleys took on the Undisputed Era, uh, we had them go neck and neck on Facebook and Twitter, and the Dudley boys edged out the Undisputed Era with 55% of the votes moving on to the Elite Eight. Who they will face in the high voltage round came down to the Briscoes and Edge and Christian. And this was kind of a landslide. Uh, and I was kind of disappointed, to be perfectly honest with you. I was really pulling for the Briscoes here. But Edge and Christian ran away. Ran away with the 73% of the votes. A uh, bit of a landslide. Was not expecting that. So your final in the high voltage region uh, pits the number one seed Dudley Boys against the number two seed Edge and Christian. Moving on to the Mulkey region, the Legion of Doom took on the Heart Foundation. That is again the Miracle Violence connection. My apologies, my dumb fat fingers. <clears throat> this was a heartbreaker. I'm not going to lie to you. I was pulling for the Heart Foundation. I tried to lobby for the Heart Foundation. I tweeted at Natty and TJ and Davey Boy Smith Jr. Uh, and anybody else associated with the Hearts. Uh, 
Uh, I wanted them to win this badly, but the Road Warriors, the Legion of Doom, uh, Hawk and Animal, their pedigree speaks for itself. Uh, 55% of the vote to 45%. It was closer than I thought, but again, I was hoping for the Heart Foundation to move on. So the, the Road Warriors move ahead to the Elite Eight in the Mulkey region, and they face the winner of the Rock and Roll Express against Arn and Tully. And what we saw here was Arn and Tully go over with 66% of the votes. So we'll get the Road Warriors and Arn and Tully as your final two teams from the Mulkey region. Uh, and that also is a uh, one, one versus two situation uh, as to be expected. Moving across the bracket to the Conquistador region, we saw the Steiner brothers take on Demolition, Axe, and Smash. And in a landslide, the Steiner brothers won with 74% of the votes, moving on to the Elite Eight of the Conquistador region. And they will be facing the winners of Harlem Heat against the number 15 seed Cinderella team, Kurt Hawkins, Zack Ryder. Uh, Hawkins and Ryder put up a hell of a fight uh, the major marks were in full effect, but at the end of the day, Harlem Heat, <coughs> excuse me, Harlem Heat, 56% of the votes. Moving on to the Elite Eight, they will be taking on the Steiner Brothers, a one versus three matchup, the Steiner Brothers against Harlem Heat. And our last bracket, the Techno Team 2000 bracket, the number one seed Hardy Boys took on the number five seed Lucha Brothers, and the Hardy Boys won handily. 79% of the vote. The Hardy Boys are moving on to the Elite Eight, and they will face the winner of the Bucks of Youth against Brody and Hanson. This was a shock to me. Uh, I really don't understand why so many people hate the Young Bucks, uh, but they do. And Hanson and Brody destroyed the Young Bucks. 69% of the votes went to Hanson and Brody. So your number 11 seed, Hanson and Brody, moves on to the Elite Eight to take on the team of the Hardy Boys. So this is what your Elite Eight looks like. In the high voltage region, the Dudley Boys take on Edge and Christian. You're one verse two. In the Mulkey region, the Road Warriors, the Legion of Doom, take on Arn and Tully. In the Conquistador region, the Steiner Brothers, the one seed, take on the number three seed, Harlem Heat. And in the Techno Team 2000 region, the Hardys take on the team of Hanson and Brody. All this voting starts Thursday, April 9th on Facebook and Twitter, so be sure to follow us. Uh, if you enjoy what you're seeing, what you're watching, head over to youtube.com forward slash Wizards Podcast to check out the rest of the videos for this tournament. And then head over to shiningwizards.com and check out our, our archives a uh, brand new episode every Monday night covering the world of professional wrestling. And we have some quarantine content, some extra content that is available for you. So head over there and check it out. Remember, voting starts tomorrow, April 9th at noon on Facebook and Twitter. Facebook.com forward slash Wizards Podcast and at Wizards Podcast on the Twitter machine. You're going to use the hashtag Shining Wizards Cup 2020 to find out all the tweets, who's talking about it what people are voting for. Uh, it'll just be a good time, something to distract you from the awfulness that is going on in the world right now. And I now have bunny ears. So check it out. Uh, head over to Facebook and Twitter. Be sure to vote. Stay safe. Stay indoors. Watch lots of wrestling. Uh, and keep tabs on the Shining Wizards Cup 2020. Uh, I am going to float an idea past the boys. Maybe do another tournament uh, towards the end of April and the beginning of May just to keep, uh, keep everybody engaged and interested. Uh, until then, be safe, have fun, and vote. Vote on the Shining Wizards Cup. The Elite Eight starts tomorrow. Uh, we're excited for it. We want to hear who you think is going to walk out of the Shining Wizards Cup 2020 as the champions. Will it be the Dudleys, Edge and Christian, the Road Warriors, Arn and Tully, the Steiner Brothers, Harlem Heat, Hardy Boys, or Hanson and Brody? Stay tuned and don't forget to vote.